So in, in, in the calligraphy sense, once you have got your ijazah, that's after many years of hard work. Naturally, people after that, uh, that's the first step of, of stepping into the real life of calligraphy. Before that, um, it's very much a process of unfolding. So what the ijazah tends to do is it allows you to sign your work and it gives you authorization to teach and also issue ijazahs. And in the Turkish sense, the, the word hoja, though sometimes it's used on the streets as well, um, but it, it's someone of religious knowledge. So Hasan Hoja is definitely somebody of that status. He is uh, an imam. He was a hafiz of the Quran, so he's memorized the Quran. You know, he was an imam. So he qualifies somebody of that status. Um, for me, uh, I still feel a bit shy being called by Hoja by some students because I just see myself uh, as somebody who really loves and is passionate about my art and, and wanting to share the beauty of it. So we can't teach it in the same way as we were taught because the expectations here in the UK are slightly different, the, 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 the way we direct the students. And so it's more of an introductory uh, courses that we're giving. So we're, we're giving them a taste of what's, what calligraphy is and what could be if you were to follow this path. So, so that, that there changes the way that we're teaching anyway. So, so if you get a few very serious students and you work in the traditional sense, which is that they come for 10, 15 minutes, like we did, and you, you have your mesh checked, you can be in a group, stay or leave whenever you it's a very informal, organic, natural process. But when you transfer that to the UK, for example, it's more, the students have a lot more questions. They want to see a lot more demonstrations. They want to push their, push as much as they can to get more of what's um, sometimes trying to get out more, more what is needed. So, it, so I just feel I'm a teacher rather than a hoja. I'm a teacher who is um, demonstrating what the impact of calligraphy can be. And also, I also go down the route of trying to unfold things for my students. And a lot of the work is, is really down to the students, but you're really making connections and helping them with the angles and the inks and trying to make their life a little bit easier and giving them lots of shortcuts in that in that short space of time. So mm -hmm. I, I think it's very much um, uh, a, a more like a teacher relationship here that I, I feel I have with my students. Um, mm -hmm. 